that day that God has given me, we are made for signs and wonders. Crusades, raising of the dead, making the lame to walk, a man of prophetic unction and anointing, church planting, televangelism, global evangelization, those are but few epithets to describe a man of faith. Born 1938, dumped in a dustbin by a frustrated father, but later to set a ministry with a global outreach. By 1959, the tentative beginnings of what would eventually be the Miracle Center and the international global presence of Church of God Mission began with a prayer group inside a small storehouse on Forest Road in Benin City. Earlier, the All Nations for Christ Bible Institute had begun and at the first commencement of service, 43 graduates of the Bible School were set to graduate. About this time too, Benson had begun a TV ministry, The Redemption Hour, a TV outreach which expanded to other parts of Nigeria and as far out as Ghana, Togo, Dahomey and the Cameroon. The TV ministry impact could be seen in the expanding congregation at the Medical Center Church, making it too small to accommodate worshippers. In the mix and in the expansion of the work and soul-winning crusades, Benson began publishing the Redemption Faith magazine as well as distributing Bibles, Christian tapes and books to other African countries for crusades. As the work increased, so the financial needs increased. Experience had taught Pastor Benson not to hold back for lack of funds. For if he walked by faith, the need would be met. He therefore emphasized on the need for members to give to the work in order that they too will in turn be blessed. His favorite text was Proverb 11 verse 24. The people responded and began to give to the work of God. They gave for the building project, for the television outreach, for evangelistic crusades, for Redemption Faith magazine, as well as for the needs of the less privileged. And in the sowing, there was reaping. As at when the medical center was built, only few members had called. But as the people prospered, of giving, dozens of cars could be seen packed around the church. Archbishop Benson Idahosa never stopped building, as by November 2nd, 1986, came the dedication of the Faith Arena with a seating capacity of 15,000 to 20,000 worshippers. The Faith Miracle Center is the global headquarters of the ministry and it contains several offices and departments of the mission. According to him, on the day of the dedication, the cost of the building was faith. In 1979, Benson recalls how the Lord spoke to him in a vision of a new direction. Take a step higher, the Lord said. I want a ministry for body, soul, and spirit. That vision will be called Christian Faith University with a threefold emphasis in theology, medicine, and agriculture. A preacher by manifestation and God by action. Amen. He believed that a ministry without education will go to the wings. The then Christian Faith University now Benson Idahosa University, BIU, has the largest educational center from kindergarten, that is, the World of Faith group of schools with branches spread across the country. The first set of students into the Christian Faith University, BIU, listened with air of ecstasy as the Chancellor revealed the code of conduct upon which CFU was built. A vision many laughed and thought impossible had become a reality. Technology without Christ is a defeat. 
Sign without Christ is a defeat. Education and knowledge without Christ is a defeat. In all you do by human achievement. Because if you miss heaven, it will be better you were not born. If everybody call you a guy on earth and you go to hell, it will be better you were not born. If all the money on this earth belong to you and you suffer the loss of your soul, it will be better you were not born. But you'll be able to say happily if you know Jesus. Let the walk go forward. When we go, when our life on earth is over, I will hear God say, well done, my servant. When the Archbishop went to be with the Lord, like Elisha, Archbishop Margaret Benson Idahosa took hold of the mantle of her husband. A transfer of prophetic anointing on the woman, the man called Mama. She was with him in the inner court, bringing down the gates of the enemy and setting the captives free, sitting through the battles, the thick darkness and the pains. They both, holding hands together, worked to see the Church of God mission to what it is today. She had learned to develop strong leadership capabilities of her own. Under her leadership, the Word of Faith Group of Schools now has 104 schools nationwide. The Christian Faith Institute of Continuous Learning has metamorphosed into the Benson E. Dahosa University with full accreditation from the National University Commission, New Oka Campus, and runs programs in the management of physical sciences, law, engineering, and nursing. It also runs a PhD, MSc, and PGD postgraduate programs. The Deborah of our time, mother, leader, mentor, counselor, has continued to inspire all, thereby continuing the great works of Archbishop Benson Idaosa. Indeed, the legacy of Archbishop Benson A. Idahosa lives on.